All right, looks like I have to link this video up to my other one because I hit the stop button instead of pause. But here I am back. Um, I've given it about 10 minutes to kind of sit and do its thing. Um, really happy with how it turned out. Now I'm going to add my swirls and I'm going to use a dot tool to do it because it, it just doesn't, sometimes the sticks that I used before will catch and drag on the, on the texture of the canvas. And this is a really smooth, um, a smooth ride, I guess you would say. Um, it just, it's a smoother transition and it gives it smoother and cleaner lines as well. So here we go. So I'm gonna start at the top. It's really hard for me to do this upside down. I'm gonna try but it is tricky. I like this gold here. I think I'm gonna incorporate it into a little swirl. Sometimes I tend to over swirl it. So I'm gonna try not to do too many. And I do pull some on the outside too. I'll do that in a little bit. I want this to be a little sharper. Ah, oh well. I like these little cells right here. It's kind of cool looking. So I'm going to do something that will show them off. Yeah, I think I need to go a little bit further in. And I got a muddled, but that's okay. Sometimes I tend to keep going in one direction and I forget to do it in a different direction, so. Hmm. 
Sometimes the swirls uh, lose their color. You can still see them, but they're just not as prominent. I think I'm gonna do a swirl here in the center. I think I'm gonna have this lead up to my swirl. Ooh, it's a little shaky. Okay, that looks a little better. And there's a really dark color here. I like that. So then I get to these spots here that they don't really have much of anything. So I want to add something. There's this gap of color. So I think I'll try to add a little more white to this one. See if I can get more color drawn in. That one really worked out well. So I think I'm gonna do that with some of my other swirls that I see here because I don't, they kind of get lost in the, in the center. So I'm gonna add a little more white to this one. And I'm gonna just follow the line that I already drew. Maybe add a little more white to this one. All right. I think I'm good. Maybe add a little more touch of white. I like this swirl right here, so I think I'm gonna go over this one again so you can see it a little bit better. It's also more difficult to do this with this ring light above me because it leaves such a glare. All right, so I think I'm good with all my swirls on the inside. 
I think what I need to do is add my swirls on the outside. Now, sometimes I get stuck here and I don't have really a way to go this way, so I'll just start from the outside and go the opposite way. Thank you all so much if you're watching this. It's been a lot of fun doing this technique. I love it. Um... It's just fun. I mean, I've, I've, I've thought of a whole bunch of different um, shapes that I can do. I've already done a leaf for fall and I've done a, a dove that's flying. Um, I've noticed, though, the more sharp edges you have on your design, on your outline, the, the more difficult it is and the bigger chance you have of that, shit, that, that white kind of drifting in and enclosing in on any part of that. So the more open the space is, the, the better results you get. But I'm gonna try to figure out a way to make it work where I can have those sharp edges. I will show you the, the leaf one here pretty soon. Um, I did have to keep blowing out some of the color to make sure it, it didn't completely close into a line on some of the leaf edges. <sighs> This is why I love these colors. They are so, so pretty together. I'm almost done. I kind of feel like I need to keep going out on this. There. I think I'm just about done. Maybe add a couple little, I don't know if I like the way I did that. Not really. Maybe I'll just incorporate it into a swirl. Okay. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know it's taking forever. 
Embellishments tend to do that. Spent like three hours one time on a painting that, God, it took forever. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a swirl here. See, this is really pretty blue right here. Hmm. I'll make like waves. Eh, I didn't like the way that turned out. You always do it into a swirl. Oops. Uh, see, I'm so picky. I don't want there to be any blemish. So it affects every tiny little thing. All right, folks, I think I am officially done with this. I think I might add a little more white to this one. And I'm so bad at fiddling. Now I gotta go over it again. It's gonna drive me crazy. See. Okay. Uh, I just need to leave that one alone. Even that's going to drive me crazy. I want it to be perfect. I think that's as good as that one's going to get. It won't be as noticeable when it dries. Huh. 
Hmm. I keep doing it. See, I told you, I need somebody here to tell me to stop. I don't have anybody here to tell me to stop. And we'll just keep going. And I just don't like that swirl, so I'm going to tweak it. Maybe pull some of that paint off. And go over it again. Actually, I need a smaller little stick for this part. I think if I get rid of this one, I can go back over it again and you will not be able to tell. But anyway, it's finished for the most part, except for this mess up that I made. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. I need a new paper towel, some new paint over my fingers. should be able to go back over this and it should be fine and you won't even be able to tell that I did this okay I'm gonna add some more white put it here okay wish me luck here we go For the most part, it looks good. I do need to touch up the color around it or I might just go this way. I do have turquoise I can use. So I'm gonna add that and try to cover up this blue spot. Almost done. I'm going to blend it if I can. Okay, this is the last st stitch attempt and I'm done after this little dot.
All right, I'm done. I say that as I try to fix the spikes that are on here. I'm done. All right. I hope that you um, got a lot of insight and ideas from this. Feel free to try this in your painting adventures. Thank you so much. Um, this is Amanda from ARC Artistic Expressions signing off. Bye.